In November 2016, Women in Theatre delivered 15 performances of Autumn Tales to older adults in residential, hospital and community settings. Audiences included those living independently, care home residents and adults with complex needs such as mental ill health, dementia and stroke patients. It seems to us that autumn's a time to pass things on, to keep things, to put things, preserve things. I used to tell my friends, you got to work at it, you relationship, you need to work at it. Yeah. But did you stay together? You stay oh, together? Yes, he died right here. Oh. Right here in my arm. But I miss you most of all. My Come back and visit you. Yes. When I was young, yes. winter time, we didn't have any fire to sit around. No. But we are gathered up, you know, mm. and they tell us dummy stories. <laughs> story. Dummy ghost story. stories. Ghost stories. Ghost stories. Ghost stories. Ghost stories. Ghost stories. Yeah. Yeah. When he died, people could hear him walking, coming up. Oh <laughs> my God. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Yeah. 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 He'd be terrified. Terrified. Passing on the knowledge of your grandparents. As they told us, dumpy stories. Right. There was once an old man who lived in a village. He had a wooden leg. You always knew he was coming because you'd hear. <coughs> One day, he died very suddenly. Nobody knows how and nobody knows why. But very soon after, his wife remarried. Anyway, on her wedding night, she's lying in bed with a new husband, and what should she hear coming up the corridor? <laughs> but... <laughs> oh. You see, it's all, you see, each generation of passes on, is that it? That was our entertainment, really. Yeah. yeah. But you see, because there was no television. You know, the, the kind of posh kids would take something with cellophane over an old throat mm. and grapes. My mother was giving me a tin of soup and I was going, oh, I don't want to take it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to take a tin of soup. I want to take what, you know, like yeah. Leslie Wilkinson's mother's yeah. given in a box with cellophane over and a ribbon Excuse round. Me, yeah. What's the cellophane about when you were in it? Yes. Was, yeah, it was cellophane. How dare you? Was it? <laughs> <laughs> Pre cellophane. BC <laughs> before cellophane. Come, you thankful. You're all going to do ensemble characters. So you, at one point you might be a dad, another point you might be a firework, you might be three birds. Okay. Mm. So something universal. So we're going down the lickies and up the lickies. Cross, let's make a rope swing. And you make a rope swing. You're doing all this. Mm. You're painting pictures mm. constantly. You can't be a bonfire in your own backyard. Oh, yeah. Burning old doors. <laughs> Breaking up cardboard boxes. Next door neighbour's fence. <laughs> <laughs> Writing your name in the sky with a sparkler. Why do we have autumn? And why is it that there's this sudden burst of colour before everything starts to wither? That is the last embrace of Demeter with her beloved daughter Persephone before she goes away and she takes the sun with her. Okay, so it starts with a beautiful goddess called Demeter. <laughs> Love. <laughs> 
<laughs> At the end of every performance, there's always a chance for general discussion so that people have a chance to share their own autumn tales, to put their two pennies in, to get to know each other better, which is what it's all about. We're talking a lot about family mm. and about getting together, telling old stories, which I think if you're thinking about sort of the elderly and people like that, and about stories of their lives, and it's good for kids to kind of know the history of where we've all come from. So about getting together as a family and community, that was something that was really important in our group. We talked about family traditions and keeping them going, so different people mentioned different things. One lady every year makes sure the whole family go down for the carol service and they all have a right old sing-song together. Um, another person was talking about no computers, um, getting more board games out so you play games as a family. Uh, a sense of community spirit, let's bring it back. Um, and we were sort of talking in our group about it has to start with ourselves, that community spirit, and it's about us equally going out saying hello to our neighbours. We're going to put them into this jar for the end of the show, into our jam jar, and we're going to finish uh, aptly with a bit of Bob Marley, and we want you all to get up on your feet and have a dance with us, too. We're jamming. Oh. <laughs> The project successfully gave audiences a sense of shared fun and validation through the sharing of ideas, empowering older, isolated adults by acknowledging the worth of their experience. Do you think it's important that we do these kind of things in places like this? Yes, very much so. I loved it. <laughs> How did it make you feel? Happy. Can I ask you ladies what you got from today? What we have done today? Interaction for a start. Interaction. Togetherness. Togetherness. I was brought up with my grandma. And that's how we used to get together on the veranda. Sit around. She used to sit down on the chair. We used to sit on the floor. And she started telling us Duffy's story. So when they mentioned about the Duffy story, it was like, wow! <laughs> yeah.